Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, style gents. It's Distinctive Gentleman here once again, and I had to pop in for a quick style tip. So today I wanna to talk about how to wear a suit. Now I'm sure many of you have either have a suit, have worn suits, or even if you haven't, I hope this video can help you. So the first thing that I wanna talk about today is that when you wear a suit, there are a few things that you wanna remember when you get a suit. I'm gonna break down those three things today, but firstly, I wanna to talk to you about something that pertains to why it's important to have a suit. So it's really important to have a suit, number one, because uh, having a suit, number one, the suit is the universal uniform. You know, anywhere you go in the world, no matter what you do, no matter where you go, um, there might be an occasion, chances are, that you're gonna need a suit. So it's important for you to, number one, have a suit in your wardrobe, but also the secondary reason is to know how to wear it and the appropriate uh, time and space to wear. Okay, so that's the three things I wanna talk about today. Number one, I wanna talk about occasion. The right occasion is important because oftentimes you'll find yourself in different occasions um, in which a suit or some type of uh, pant and jacket combination would be necessary. So of course, one, you know, if you're a person who works, if you're in the finance industry, if you're in the legal field, the medical profession, you're probably gonna have to wear a suit at some point. Um, secondly, you know, if it's a, it's a formal event, if you're going to some type of uh, a formal occasion, a wedding or something like that, you're definitely gonna need a suit. And then on the third occasion, uh, you know, obviously it's not something that you wanna always have to do, but let's just say it's a funeral. You know, let's just say there's an occasion where you gotta go to church. Maybe there's, there's something that happened. You gotta go to court. I mean, it happens. But you wanna be able to, to look the part um, and to fit into whatever role that you're gonna be um, occupying so at the time. I wore this ridiculous thing for you. So starting with work, I mean for work, you wanna definitely have a suit that complements um, that particular um, area or space that you're gonna be working in. Once again, if you're in the legal field, you're a medical professional, if you're in the finance, banking industry, if you're in sales, you know, it's gonna be necessary to at some point put on a suit. So the first thing that you wanna keep in mind is the occasion. Know the occasion, know the appropriateness of what you're wearing, how you're wearing it, um, and what's necessary when you when you go in. As you can see, my outfit today, I have on some accessories. Yes, that's my favorite fucking suit you're wearing. I look good, don't I? Whereas in some, some occasions, uh, especially for more formal occasions, it may not be necessary to have all the bells and whistles. You might want to tone it down, be a little more conservative. At a black tie affair, you don't necessarily want to do all the extra stuff. Although it helps give you a little character, it goes with, with your own personal style, but sometimes you want to be a little more toned down in order to fit with the particular occasion. The second thing I want to talk about is going to be the fit. The fit is important as well because when you talk about wearing a, a nice suit, particularly if you're not buying made to measure or a bespoke tailored suit, you're gonna be buying off the rack. And buying off the rack, sometimes it's a lot um, less expensive. And oftentimes, you know, you're, you're trying to find pieces that work with you. Oftentimes you can find suit separates, but if you're gonna buy a suit that comes together, um, you wanna make sure that you, would, that you try it on, you see whether or not it fits with your body, um, make sure the cut that you're looking at uh, works with you. Because sometimes you can be attracted to a style, but it doesn't necessarily fit your body type. So if you're a slimmer build, you know, typically a slim suit, some of the skinnier suits are probably gonna work with you. But if you have if you have a broader build, if you're more of a husky build, then you probably wanna go with more of a regular or a classic fit. And, and then at some point get it tailored to fit better with your body silhouette. So the second thing is definitely fit. You wanna make sure that it fits right in the areas that, um, are a little more difficult for you to take to a tailor for them to just adjust. Usually in the body area, the length of the pant, uh, a tailor can adjust, but when it comes to the shoulder, if it's hanging off the shoulder, a lot of extra fabric, that's, a, that's an extra work that probably can be done, but it's, by the time you finish paying a tailor to adjust so many areas on the suit, you pretty much could have went the made to measure or bespoke route um, because you're, you're gonna be adding so much more additional onto your price. And the third thing, ladies and gentlemen, that you wanna keep in mind is gonna be the fabric. This is beautiful, what is that velvet? You know, this ties into both of the first two points would be occasion and the fit. The last thing that you wanna make sure that you're aware of when you're shopping for a suit is gonna be the fabric. You know, right now we're moving into the colder months, 
So a heavier wool fabric, some of the heavier, denser fabrics are gonna be just fine because you know if you're in and out, something that's gonna keep your body warm and it works with the climate and the elements, obviously that's gonna work. But when we start getting into the, the, to the warmer months or if you're purchasing a suit during the spring or summer months, you wanna make sure that you're getting something, again, still keeping in mind the occasion, keeping in mind the fit, but something that the fabric actually fits into that mold. So, the fabrics for the warmer months are gonna be your lighter wools, it's gonna be your cottons, it's gonna be your linens. When you're going into the fall, into the winter months, you're gonna go with the heavier wool, you're gonna go with um, the heavier fabrics in your trousers. Say, if you pick some of the wilder colors, again, if you're not just doing it for an occasion that's more conservative, if you're doing something to actually uh, you know, stand out and you want something to pop, then you can go with, a, there are corduroy suits out there. There are suits with heavier fabric that works really well. However, it's it's appropriate for the occasion. So you wanna keep that in mind. Right now, I'm wearing a wool suit. It's a, it's a wool uh, fabric suit, 100% wool, but it's somewhat of a heavier wool. So if I went out and I, I had to go to a, a business meeting or let's just say I was going to church or I had some other occasion to go to where a suit would be appropriate, this would be perfectly fine. I'm still having on the, the, the look that's uh, toned down. However, like I said, I added some character with some of my accessory choices, but you still fit within the mold of what looks really good to you. I still wanna have character. I still wanna feel like myself and add my personal style to it, but I'm also keeping in mind the occasion. Uh, I definitely kept in mind the fit because this is an off the rack suit, but I made sure that it fit proper in certain areas, but the areas that I knew that it was gonna be more difficult to get my tailor to actually do something with, I made sure that I didn't go wrong in that area. I made sure that it fit well in my arms, fit well in my shoulder area, that it wasn't too short, that it wasn't too long. Um, just certain areas on the suit that would help me when it comes to uh, taking it to get tailored. Three things you wanna keep in mind are gonna be the occasion, the fit, and the fabric. I promise you that that's gonna help you. It'll help you make better choices as you're adding suits to your wardrobe or if it's your first time purchasing a suit, that is something that will help you tremendously when you go into the store, when you're working with a stylist on a team, uh, somebody that works in the store, they're gonna be able to help you and give you some great points and tips. But if you go in there with that in mind, the occasion, the fit, and the fabric, then you're already on the right track. Again, this is Distinctive Gentleman. Until we meet again, Peace and love.